What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. It's 7.30 in the morning. I've just been kind of chilling, working a little bit. I made some eggs, spinach, and some coffee right now. Um, about to go to training in, in about an hour, so I'm gonna eat this. Kind of work a little bit more. I got a lot of stuff today. Do film a couple podcasts, uh, uh, Elite Challenge going up for next month for March, so um, it's a big day. Yesterday, we played against Roger State University and won four to one. And uh, I got like 20 minutes at the end of the game, and it's pretty cool, but I actually got two assists in the uh, the last 20 minutes that I played, so I'll show both those right now. Me. So it was a it was a really good game. Uh, I was actually playing a little bit of right winger, right mid, and um, obviously I did pretty well there for the for the 20 minutes that I was in. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna scarf this down. I'm gonna watch the new Casey Neistat video right here, and then I'm just gonna kind of work and watch some TV to prepare for training and just get ready to go. Also, two things. The first thing is um, I really want you guys to check out this channel, Diego Barrera. Uh, Diego Barrera is a professional soccer player that's playing over in Thailand. Uh, he's got a really cool channel. Again, exactly the same stuff I'm doing, showing the behind the lives of what it takes to be pro. He has really, really awesome videos, literally detailing how to go over to Thailand, play soccer, what to expect. Um, we have plans to do an interview coming up here soon, so he's on the channel. But um, really, really good guy. I've actually played with his brother um, when his brother was playing at Sacramento Republic. Amazing player too, but very, very cool. 
And if you guys are interested at all in seeing another professional soccer player um, over in Thailand even, pretty cool to go check out. And the other thing, the number two thing, is that the, uh, the off-season program, where I detailed every single one of my workouts, every single cardio routine, sup cat? Every, every single cardio routine, every single training session, every single set, rep, you know, drill, exercise, everything that I did my entire off-season, it's all, you know, it's up, it's on the website for $30. Link in the description. Uh, Diego's channel, again, is gonna be in the description. Really go check out, go check out Diego's channel though. Very cool. I say this a lot, but the weather in Oklahoma is freaking, it's killing me, bro. Like, I swear. Yesterday, day before, 70 degrees and sunny. Today started out as like 40 degrees, and as the day goes on and gets to like midday, it's dropping below freezing. It's the only place in the world, maybe I'm just ignorant, but it's the only place I've been where as the day gets goes on to midday, it gets colder and colder and colder. Ugh. And people are always like, just wait till it gets warm and like 100 degrees and 100% humidity. You're gonna be wishing you had this weather. But I, I know I won't be wishing I had this weather. I'd rather have 100 degrees, 100% humidity. Oh my God, I'm sick of it. So we already had training. Obviously didn't get any footage because I was training. But after the training session, especially in this preseason time, it's kind of more of... If you want to get a workout in, if you want to get extra work in, you want to get extra training in, you want to get extra fitness in, whatever you guys think you need, you know, you guys are pros, you guys can do. So like for this session, uh, I, it was a lighter session because it was the day after the game. I only got 20 minutes yesterday. So I was feeling pretty decent. So I decided, and obviously a couple other guys decided in the gym too, that they wanted to get a little extra workout in. And this workout was going to be my only workout for the week. And so for this voiceover, I kind of want to talk more about how I go about my in-season or my pre-season uh, weightlifting maintenance programs, you know? It's a very complicated topic. It's so complicated because so much of it comes down to listening to your body, knowing your body, knowing what you need, and then creating a program for yourself that hits your needs. Um, for example, like this week, and it varies week to week. Like it's so hard to have a full program that you do in season when you're a pro or if you're in college or something, it's a very intense season. It's so hard to have a program because every single week is different. You could have a week like this week for us where we have three games in seven days and your body is wrecked and you don't, you can't do three or four sessions in that week because you're just going to tear down your muscle fibers so much that you might lead to injury. In the exact opposite sense, like you could have a week where you have you know, maybe one game and maybe you only get like 30 minutes in that game and it's very light and the training's light and you're feeling great and you want to actually work that week to improve your strength, you know, get your muscles a little bit stronger. And so it's, it varies week by week by week. And you talk to any pro who's gone through this, you'll, you'll know, like there's just some weeks where it's just almost impossible for you to get even one or two weightlifting sessions in. And there's weeks where you can get three or four weightlifting sessions in and feel great, you know, every single week is different. So your in-season or pre-season workout routine is so based upon how your body is feeling. And uh, like, for example, this week, I know since we had three games in seven days, that one weightlifting session was going to be as much as I can do. You know, I like to get in the gym at least once a week, but this week I could only do one weightlifting session. So for this one weightlifting session, I wanted to hit my entire full body. You know, do a little bit of chest, a little bit of rows, a little bit of pull-ups. Um, I wanted to do legs. I wanted to do abs and everything. So this session, I did everything. And now if I have a week where I know I can get four weightlifting sessions in, I might do a split. I might do upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body or whatever. But um, for this one, yeah, I'm doing a complete full body circuit. And the, another hard thing about it is you need to know your body. For example, my body... I tire out, what gets weak first is always my groins and my hip flexors. For whatever reason, groins, hip flexors are a big problem area for me. Obviously, I had surgery on my groins, and that's just, that's just how my body is. Other people might have genetically weaker hamstrings, you know? Other person's body might be different. They might, their quads might be weaker than their hamstrings or glutes or whatever. Everybody's got something, and you gotta know your body and know what you need. So for example, when I can, I'm trying to do as much groin strengthening like this as I possibly can, because the more of this I do, the more preventative work I do, the stronger my groins are, and the more imbalanced it is in my full body, the better it's gonna be. So it's, it's tough, like I get so many questions about it, like how should my in-season program look? 
or Matt, can you make an in-season program or a preseason maintenance program for me? And I, it, it's hard because it's so much of it's personalized to you. You know, off season's easier because you can follow a program. You don't have games to schedule around. You don't have trainings. You know, usually week by week you're feeling the same. But in season, it's it's a completely different story. And lastly, you have to just know yourself as a as a person too. For example, there's players out there, pros who don't do any gym work, barely do any gym work at all. And I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm not saying that you should, but there are, and that's just how they are. And they're you know naturally six foot three. 200 pounds of muscle and that's just who they are or for me you know i'm 165 170 pounds and i lose muscle mass very very quickly i do one double day i can drop down eight pounds jeff you know jeff adai who's in the background of a lot of these clips right here you know he can blow up he'll do a weightlifting session he'll eat one meal eat one slice of pizza and he says he gains five pounds it's just differences in your in your body so you have to know what your body needs and just kind of tailor everything to it and so much of that comes with experience. So much of that just comes with experimenting. But most importantly, that just comes with listening to your body. All right, so just finished up training. Just finished up weightlifting session. About to shower and then head back home. <laughs> hey. Hey. Okay, I'm back from training. I'm gonna make a big smoothie for as my lunch. I already had like an apple, I already had a banana, but I want a bigger smoothie right now with a lot of protein in. I did get a few questions about why I'm using plant-based protein powder versus just whey. For me, sometimes when I have a lot of whey, a lot of dairy products, like my stomach kind of gets a little gurgly and bubbly. Um, if, if that doesn't affect you and you have no problem with dairy products, no problem with whey, then go with whey. If you, uh, if you feel like you do feel a little bit gurgly or a little bit nauseous or whatever after a lot of dairy, after a lot of whey products, and go with plant-based. I mean, try everything out and see what works for you. Like that's literally the answer to everything. So I'll make the smoothie real quick. All right, so I'm gonna drink this. Um, and then for the next hour and a half, I'm just gonna work on my computer, video editing, making Instagram posts, all the normal stuff. I'll have like, I usually have like the office playing in the background just for some background noise. But, um, but yeah, and then later today, we're gonna have, I think, two players, Andrew coming first, and then Moses coming second to come over and film podcast for the Against All Odds uh, podcast. Wait, where are the keys? Right here. What was that? This is that throw. That was the worst throw. So I went to Egypt. I was in Egypt that summer. I just I just couldn't deal with like living with roaches, like staying with roaches. Yeah, like, yeah. It was, it was like really roach infested, like. <laughs> He kept saying like, oh yeah, be ready, be ready, be ready. Yeah. And it was like Sunday morning, he was like, could you be here? It's like, I had to be there for Monday and I'm like, I'm looking at flights and like, like timing wise, I couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. I rent a car and I drive from Baltimore to Charleston. I couldn't, I didn't leave until like, maybe it was like eight or nine. Uh huh. So I literally drove all night to train on Monday. But then the agent who I was speaking to was like, I can bring you to Czech Republic first league. Mm -hmm. I was like, no brainer. I'm gone. Yeah, first so, league, yeah. So January of 2016, I went. And so this is where I say, like, the business, the Asian business is so sketchy. Mm. I took a bus from Czech Republic to Romania. <laughs> How long was that bus ride? It was like 15 hours. <laughs> I had a trial set up in Estonia, Estonia Premier League. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I was actually like really keen on going to this club because they play Europa League qualification. Yeah, yeah. Next day, book a flight, gone. <laughs> going to Slovenia. Uh -huh. So now I'm in Slovenia. <laughs> this sounds like, bro, it's insane. Like, <laughs> like a map on the screen. I know, honestly, <laughs> there needs to be a map. Go, ding, 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 yeah. ding, so like, ding, ding. now I'm in Slovenia and I'm like, so I just finished the podcast with Mo, um, getting ready for bed. It's because it's like 10 o'clock at night. Mo's story is absolutely insane. I mean, that guy's perseverance and the dedication he had. Literally, I'm not even exaggerating, dozens of countries, dozens of failed trials. Um, just insane. And like, it's just so cool to sit down and hear every single one of my teammates' stories so far and how they've gotten to here to the Tulsa Roughnecks. Just so, it's literally, is, it, I'm so glad I'm doing this. Like it. You learn so much about the teammates, you learn so much about like just 
what it takes to be a pro, how to become a pro, it's just insane. It's so motivating for me to hear. Um, so I'm, I hope you guys are liking it because just, it's, I honestly, it's just amazing. It really is just amazing. Right now, Mimi and I are just gonna have some protein pancakes for dessert and uh, watch something on, on Netflix just to end, tone down, you know, kind of like get ready for bed. But um, here's, here's how many pancakes I'm eating. Whole bunch of pancakes. Um, they're not the, you know, protein pancakes aren't the healthiest. Like, they definitely are a lot of carbs. It's sugar with the syrup, but um, really good, high quality whey protein in here. You add an egg, you add some protein almond milk. It's delicious. These are Kodak cakes, highly suggest them. All right, guys, so I'm just going to finish these pancakes off, watch this movie with Mimi, and then um, go to bed. So if you guys like the video, thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. All right, peace.